civil rights and public policy. If civil liberties are protections individuals have against the government, civil rights are protections groups of people have against both the government and individuals, and they protect you from arbitrary or discriminatory treatment based on your membership in a particular group. There can be racial discrimination, gender discrimination, or discrimination based on all kinds of other things, age, disability, sexual orientation, or all kinds of other factors. First, we should talk about what does equal mean. Now, equal, of course, is not in the Constitution until the 14th Amendment anyway. Um, this is an idea uh, that comes down to us through the Declaration of Independence, which, of course, isn't law. Does it mean equal opportunity? Everybody gets the same chance to be successful? Or does it mean equal results? Everybody ends up at the same place? Now, that has never been a popular definition in America. Uh, we tend to believe that it means you know, more equal opportunity and then results will vary. Early American views of uh, equality and inequality are going to be, well first off, it's, like I said, it's not in the original Constitution, um, are, are going to take this attitude of everybody is viewed the same by the law, that nobody has any particular advantage in the eyes of the government over another person. It does not mean we're all born at the same starting point, or at least in the early idea of the Constitution, and generally historically. Um, I mean, it certainly doesn't mean we'll all end up in the same place. Uh, of course, in the 14th Amendment, uh, for the first time, we see this idea of equal protection under the law, uh, and that applies to the federal and the state governments, as we talked about last chapter. Now, there are three different standards that uh, a law is held to, depending on who it might be discriminating against. If a law uses a racial classification, meaning it says this about black people and this about uh, white people or Native American people or whoever it is, the, the government has to show, or the private industry who's, who's using a policy based on race, has to show that this is necessary to accomplish a compelling goal. So, for example, a case is uh, affirmative action, the original affirmative action laws in the 1970s and 80s, um, where they said, look, there's no other way to get African Americans into management in many of these industries where they work except to force the companies to hire them into management. And while this is obviously a policy based on race, um, there is no other way to solve this problem, or we haven't been able to find one. And so that was allowed. Um, Beyond that, uh, the law is going to be disallowed if it singles out or gives particular advantage to race. It has to show that it's the um, least restrictive way to achieve a compelling uh, societal interest. Gender is called an intermediate standard. And an intermediate standard simply has to show that there is a substantial relationship between having different rules based on gender and accomplishing a legitimate goal. So for example, um, a guy sued a few years ago because Hooters wouldn't hire him as a waitress. And Hooters offered him all kinds of other jobs. They even, in fact, offered to train him to be a manager. And he said, no, I want to be a waitress. And they, and they said, well, our business model is we only hire girls to be waitresses. And he lost. And they said that they gave him other opportunities for employment. They didn't deny him employment. But that particular function at the restaurant was done by women. And they had a legitimate reason for doing that because it was part of their successful business model. Um, so if you can show that you have a legitimate reason for discriminating based on gender, you can do it. Uh, if you can't, then you can't. Other, uh, other uh, discriminations are based on reasonableness. Does it have a rational relationship? So you basically just have to give a reasonable justification. An example of this would be uh, 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 Medic what is it? Medicaid, the one that's for people over 65. I always get them mixed up. Um, you can't sue if you're 30 and say, why don't I get that program? The government will say there's a reasonable reason to only give this to people over 65 years old because the cost of insurance for younger people is relatively cheap while the cost of insurance for uh, older people is, is prohibitively expensive. And so you can discriminate based on age in that case, for example. 